One of our largest advancements this season is our barcode detection software. It uses the OpenCV library with a custom pipeline for detecting fireball fuchsia. The program draws a box around the color and uses the horizontal distance of the rectangle's center point from the left of the frame to determine the barcode position. As seen here, the location updates via telemetry and an enum variable whenever our element is moved. During the autonomous period, the drive motors use encoders to track both robot position and pose velocity. We use the inertial measurement unit built into the rev control hub for determining the pose heading. As for generating and following paths, we use a Ramzet style pathing system, a concept frequently used in FRC. Even though our pathing system can't follow complex motions such as splines, it is extremely consistent for straight lines and point turns. During the driver controlled period, the primary driver has many nice features to easily make precise movements and be conscious of the match as a whole. The left trigger is a sensitivity trigger, which allows the driver to slow the robot based on a push threshold rather than a stick threshold, which is much easier to precisely manage. We also power curve the sensitivity trigger using an arc tangent function, since we have noticed that there is a power gap at lower speeds. In addition, the primary driver's controller has a rumble feature to keep the drive team aware of the match time. Our rotation arm uses a PID loop to reach the desired set position that it is told to run to. We have six different set positions, the ground, alliance levels one, two, and three, around the back for scoring on alliance level three, and around the back for scoring on the shared shipping hub. The rotation arm also has a manual override in the event that a hub has an extreme lean. Here's a little demonstration of our driver controlled and end game periods. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our Control Award submission video.